So our research group at McGill University has been exploring uh, how metal powders like iron uh, can be used as an energy carrier that produces zero carbon emissions. Uh, when burned, iron produces more heat than an equivalent amount of gasoline, for example. And the exhaust from the combustion iron oxide, also known as rust, is environmentally benign. It can easily be collected and recycled back into iron using a renewable energy source. Iron is in many ways a more practical energy carrier than chemical batteries or hydrogen. But in order to understand how the fundamentals of how metals burn, uh, we need to go to the unique environment of weightlessness. That's because in the lab um, in, on the ground, uh, the particles, the metal particles, have the tendency to settle too quickly and the gas products, uh, on the contrary, arise and uh, disrupt the experiment. For the last two decades, in collaboration with NASA and the Canadian Space Agency, researchers from McGill's Department of Mechanical Engineering have performed experiments observing how flames spread through clouds of metal powder on board parabolic flight aircraft. These aircrafts create about 30 seconds of weightlessness as they fly along a roller coaster trajectory, which is why they are nicknamed Vomit Comet. This research has resulted in the discovery of a new regime of flame propagation called discrete flames. In this case, the flame can spread from particle to particle similar to the way water percolates through coffee grinds. Rather than the smooth front usually associated with the flames, the front in this process becomes rough like a crumpled piece of paper. The same phenomenon shows up in other types of wave, such as contagious disease spreading through a population or wave signaling inside biological cells. The properties of these waves are of particular interest to theoretical physicists. In order to definitively prove this new regime of combustion, we need longer weightlessness than we can get on parabolic flights. So our team is now going to place our experiment on board of a European Space Agency sounding rocket. This rocket, Maxus 9, will travel from, it, from its launch site in northern Sweden nearly straight up to 700 kilometers, twice the height of the International Space Station. During its 12 to 14 minutes outside the atmosphere, it will experience a state of near-perfect weightlessness. The experiment will automatically disperse iron powder into glass tubes with a flow of oxygen and xenon, and the mixture will be ignited at one end. And if everything goes according to plan, the capsule will land soft with, with parachutes and we can recover all the data. And so with the results, uh, hopefully we can move closer to a day when metal powders can be used as a clean energy source on Earth.